candy colored clown they call the Sandman. I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Switch on the coffee maker. Bueno, gente, un saludo para todos. Este es el cuarto episodio. Eh, si no me equivoco. Yo lo estoy llamando episodio según lo divido por cada video que subo a YouTube, pero como se dieron cuenta, el primer episodio acabó en el video anterior. Sé que sería el primer episodio del juego, este es el segundo episodio del juego. Estamos comenzándolo y me gustó, me gustó, me ha, me ha gustado bastante. Switch on the coffee maker. Me gusta cómo es la historia. Me gusta cómo lo pusieron en forma de capítulo o de episodio. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. Go to Alice. Y para que tengan una idea, yo estoy grabando esto. Eh, hoy es el lunes 4 de noviembre. Así que hoy por la noche es el midnight de Call of Duty Ghost. No sé cuándo este video lo esté subiendo. Porque apenas empecé a subir eh, el otro día el, el número 1. Y todavía no he subido los demás. Este ya es el 4. Así que los estoy grabando adelantados. Para no quedarme atrás con esta serie. Porque quiero, quiero acabar este juego. El juego me gusta de verdad. A menos que se ponga súper aburrido y mierda. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. <laughs> y ahora, tipo es fotógrafo. Está bregando ahí con los negativos. Está la computadora ahí. Los termitos, los termos ¿Qué me dan los termos? Yo hasta ahora no sé la cámara, yo quiero coger la cámara Mira otra cámara, más lente, ¿no? Se la tiro hasta... Wow Ok Examine the cover mockups These look really good Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Se fue Alan? Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, writer. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help <laughs> you, too. Yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Ay, qué romántico. Ay, qué lindo. <coughs> Bye. Okay. Hmm. How okay. do you feel, Mr. Wick? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Mm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. 
Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Talk to Sarah. Thank Pretty you for testing the lights, Miss Weaver. Everything seems to be fine. I don't have the luxury of being complacent, Deputy Grant. The bulbs will need changing soon. You can't change them in the dark. Vaya. I'll be sure to take Not care of this. I'm not going Un montón de gente desaparecida aquí. Eso es un avestru. Ok, vamos a seguir. Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alice, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife again. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're gonna meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Mr. Wade, can I help you with stupid, anything? Pal, for watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Hey! Wake. You can get there hey! through the cell corridor. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. here. I'm at Stucky's God. gas station with Thornton. There's Four no sign lights. of him. Or... I don't wait, 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 wait. Like the goddamn yeah. shadows in Look, here. It's located the hey! It's here. God That's some good news, right? I don't want to be alone in here. He's driving it at the here. rehearsal today. Hey! Over. Oh, hey! Give me that. Hey! Mulligan here. Hey! Looks like someone really hey! crashed hey! the garage. Over. Hey! Okay. Roger that guy. Oh, yeah. Por donde por aquí. Hey, can you turn the light? The light's on. The deputies, they won't, they don't understand. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, "Go through the fence on the left." Okay, hay algo allá. Puedo brincar. No sé si este es un impedido que va a poder brincar por ahí. <coughs> the caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Okay, pues no es por aquí entonces. Es. Tengo que salir de aquí. Hay otro termito. Yo me cago en los termos. ¿Por qué me dan los.? Yo los voy a coger, pero es que de verdad. Bueno, folks, it's been another long night and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty. ¿Cómo llego allá? Si él me mandó a salir por aquí, examen de Junker. Bueno, pero este tipo, no puedes brincar por ahí tampoco. Ahora, mira por aquí. Vamos a coger esto. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week. You and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Tienen que salir de la estación del sheriff Y a mí me dejan pasar Vamos a entrar por aquí, que hay aquí Voy a coger eso
Bro. The writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. <laughs> vaya, vaya, vaya. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emile Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh! Hey! Oh my! Take it easy! Bye, yeah. Hey! Nobody move! Get your hands off of my client! Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have business with Mr. Wake, you talk to me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. <laughs> <clears throat> I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money. And he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him. Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later. Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, Mr. Takes a Swing at Everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. She even has a fan site dedicated to you. And she was very helpful when I was looking for you. Seriously, what you were saying in the car? Just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy? Wait here. And his body just disappeared? Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some lowlifes. <sighs> Well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. Okay, find the phone. What's the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Que mucho no. joder. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do and everything's just... Do you understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Wait here. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. 
Ok. Ya tenemos un cortito. Wow. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, Barry. <laughs> I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. <laughs> Just okay. be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Por dónde salgo por aquí? Barry had the keys to the car he rented. It wasn't a long walk to the visitor center, and it wouldn't be any use to me in the forest. I okay. knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. Esta cabaña que hay aquí. Mierda. Mierda. Estoy jugando esto con headset. Me cago en la puta. ¿Puedo entrar aquí? Mira, puedo entrar. Con radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deerfest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever see the man. Yo no tenía una choco. Ah, se verá antes de entrar al... Antes de entrar al Sheriff Station. Perdí todo. Me quedé solamente con la pistolita. Vaya. Ay, no, otra vez. No, no, pero ahora no voy a poder, ahora no voy a poder brincar aquí, vela. Ah, oh, sí, no, hay, no había ni que brincarlo. Head to the lower speak. Aquí hay un montón de cosas. Cabañas y mierda. Un trailer sin puerta. Ok. ¿Quién parquea un trailer y la puerta está bloqueada? <coughs> musiquita que parece el exorcista o de Halloween o algo así me encantan esas musiquitas Lower Speak es 
Cerrar el teléfono. No. Y si lo leo, F5, vamos a ver si lo puedo leer y no sé. Wow. The air in the visitor center was heavy with an awful smell, as if some rotten drowned thing had. No queréis más nada. Visitor. ¿Qué carajo? ¿Qué carajo es esto? La verdad es que este tipo se cansa, mano. Pero ya no ha corrido nada. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Get the lights on. Algo me dice que encender las luces no va a ser tan fácil. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. Okay, seguimos. Okay, no por ahí. Yo puedo coger esto. Creo que no hay más nada. Aquí están las luces. Vaya. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. Se jodió. The ground was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Vaya. Se jodió Rusty. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Please! Don't feed the animals! 